already taken. Neatly switched by Allen and Liscom. Now it's going to come across, and there's Roberts, and the first goal has been scored by John Kerr. The American has the honour of making history with the first goal ever at the New Den. And fittingly, it's Millwall who score against Sporting Club de Portugal. The free kick had been taken quickly, and eventually when the ball came across, Lemijic couldn't do much about it, especially when Kerr was stationed no more than a couple of yards out. Figo again, good attacking player, Luis Figo, international. Oh, and that's a delightful ball inside the penalty area, and he goes down, it's a penalty. Not much doubt in the referee's mind about that, McCarthy, the youngster, making the trip. And is this to be the first goal conceded by Millwall in their new home? No, a good save, but the goal still is scored by Cadetti. A brave effort by Keller. He's so clever. Terrific play this from Balakov, and he might see up the winner for Uskoviak. Uskoviak scores for Sporting Portugal, and again the credit has to go to Balakov, who might well have deprived Millwall of a victory on their opening night. The Lions had to wait until September to christen their brand new home with a win. With a free kick. Ironically, it came against Mick McCarthy's former club, Barnsley. Just touches it for Huxford. Played a little late, but uh, they've got it into the danger zone. Huxford again. Didn't quite get over it. A little unlucky there. The ball kicking up very high. This is Vivier. Oh, beautiful skill from Vivier. It must be. It's there. John Kerr, the scorer. Huxford. Ray getting stuck in. The shot. Oh, he's found the net. 2 0. And that surely has wrapped it up for Millwall. It turned out to be a good season for Millwall, and five wins in a row before Christmas sent the Lions roaring into the promotion pack. <laughs> Optimism soared when 1994 started in brilliant fashion, with a stunning 3-0 win over promotion rivals and neighbours Crystal Palace. It was Millwall's performance of the season against the eventual champions. The Lions, meanwhile, had to settle for a place in the playoffs, where the season fell apart in disastrous fashion against Derby County. The following season again saw Mick McCarthy's men mount a dazzling pre-Christmas run. 
This time the Lions ended the year with six wins out of six. That earned Mick McCarthy his first ever Manager of the Month award. But once again, promotion proved elusive in a season that will long be remembered for three classic cup victories. A stunning victory at Nottingham Forest took Millwall to the quarter-finals of the Coca-Cola Cup for the first time in 16 years. And I wouldn't argue with either of Alan Wilkie's decisions on the caution so far. Both deserved. Keith Stevens, the Millwall captain, one of their great stalwarts around the penalty spot for the free kick. Dave Mitchell just behind him. Oh, and it's gone straight in. What a remarkable goal. Greg Berry has given Millwall the lead. Crossley stunned. And those Millwall supporters cannot believe the start their team have made here. The merest of touches, and Berry has given Millwall a shot lead. It only took the slightest touch for Greg Berry, the former Wimbledon striker, to steer the ball into the corner of the Forest net. No, well, it was persistent play by Lee, but he just couldn't keep the ball for long enough. Now, Savage, Beer. There's more shape and pattern to the Millwall play at the moment than Nottingham Forests. In fairness to Forest, they have been disrupted by those early injuries. And suddenly the ball is presented to Berry, who could make it number two, and has done so. Sheffield's mistake, and Berry accepts the gift, and Millwall lead 2-0. Four minutes to half-time. Well, it was poor defending, really. In fairness to Chettle, I suppose he got the ball caught up between his feet. But once he presented it to Berry in that position, there was only one outcome. And it was there that Chettle made the fatal error. Good finish, his second of the game. The highlight of 1995 was an outstanding run in the FA Cup. It began with an epic third-round win at Highbury. A sweet victory that earned the Lions revenge for a controversial cup defeat against the Gunners 12 months earlier. Here's Van Blurk. Just hit it in. They've scored. Mark Beard arrives at the back post. And where was Arsenal's defence? Eleven minutes gone. And the team from Division One opened the scoring at Highbury. And Arsenal's woe continues. Jason Van Blurk. Coming up from left back, he skipped into acres of space with Linigan hopelessly out of position. And what a simple tap in. And miles the edge goal in 11 minutes, increasingly looking as though it will put Millwall into the fourth round and inflict another defeat on Arsenal. Kennedy. with a sensational strike and Millwall's place in round four and a home tie against Chelsea is now confirmed and it was always a danger with that increasing commitment to attack in the search for the equaliser that they'd leave themselves vulnerable and what a shot to beat David Seaman